Hi there, this is Joey with Legacy Maker Sports Network, and today we're going to discuss the Mets fire sale after their massive spending spree this offseason. More specifically, we're going to discuss the trades of Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer. Both of these teams ended up with, in my opinion, a win out of this trade. We're going to start with Max Scherzer and the return that the Mets got. Uh, they got Luis Angel Acuna, the younger brother of Atlanta star Ronald Acuna. New York said that he's going to immediately start in Double A Birmingham. Scherzer waived his no trade clause to complete the deal, and the Mets will send cash to Texas. The pitcher agreed to opt in on the final year of his contract as part of the deal at $43.3 million. And according to reports, the Mets were paying about $35 million of the remaining $58 million on, on Max Scherzer's contract. Now, Justin Verlander was a little bit more of a cut and dry case. There wasn't, you know, any opt-ins or anything like that. Uh, you know, he went and only said that he would go back to the Houston Astros. Uh, the Mets were able to make that happen. Uh, they were able to get uh, outfielder Drew Gilbert, who is rated by MLB.com as the Astros' number one prospect, as well as minor league outfielder Ryan Clifford. The Mets are also sending cash on that deal as well. Now, when the Mets went on this spending spree this offseason, I, I figured it would do one of two things. It would either prove to all of Major League Baseball that you can indeed buy a World Series, or it was going to blow up spectacularly in their face because no one was going to mesh at all and that they were going to lose a lot of games. Now, it, it came to find out that it was the latter, and honestly, it's kind of disappointing because... You know, Major League Baseball has really missed that kind of owner since George Steinbrenner left the Yankees. And personally, I really wish that more teams would spend as much as the Mets did. When the Mets offered a total of $217 million combined to Mad Max and Justin Verlander, you know, my first thought was like, the Mets are legitimately going to buy a World Series. However, when you build a team like that, I don't think that they accounted for team chemistry, and it really shows. And you really need a mix of, like, young talent with older veteran talent to kind of show them the way. And so, you know, when your team has been as lackluster as the Mets have, you know, obviously, yeah, you're going to trade your best players. Um, now, the fact that they sent them to the two best AL West teams has me weak I think that that is one of the funniest things that they could have done because now your two best pitchers are going to be in a cage match in Texas for first place it's going to make for some great baseball the teams currently are separated by one and a half games as I'm recording this um, and so it's definitely going to make for a really fun uh, last you know month or so of the season and I'm really looking forward to watching it uh, definitely let me know your comments, but yeah, this has been one crazy trade deadline. I'm looking forward to talking to uh, you guys about it more.